Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. This is Russ from Kilo Fitness. So today is another CrossFit WOD vlog. Uh, this day we're working on squats, uh, kind of working in our 85% range, I think it was about. So uh, for me, it was prescribed to do about 230. I was able to work up to 245 pretty, pretty clearly, excuse me, pretty easily. Uh, we're just working at five sets of five. So you'll see here, I'm just trying to work on uh, keeping my elbow position down, chest up, uh, just working through it really smooth. It honestly didn't really feel that heavy on my back, uh, which is kind of why I did decide to go up with the weight. But you'll see it just moves fairly easy. Uh, my foot position is much wider than before, uh, and I'm actually feeling pretty good with that. Um, if I had to compare myself to someone else who's squatting near me, I'm, I'm going a little bit deep. And I would say maybe my chest isn't as, as vertical as I would like, but hey, you know, no one's perfect, not trying to be perfect. So this Metcon was fairly insane. So basically what it is, it starts out with uh, five American kettlebell swings. So this is basically a traditional kettlebell swing, but you're going over your head. Next, it is four over bar burpees. So as you can see, it's like a burpee, but you're jumping over the bar. So after the burpees, uh, which are pretty tiring, especially jumping over the bar, we're doing thrusters. And basically what the thruster is, it's almost like a clean to a front squat, then push press. So basically you're coming up from the front squat and then pushing over your head. So in the beginning, this was pretty easy for me. I think we're using, what is this, uh, 95 pounds. So it became pretty easy. I think as I went through this, though, it just got harder and harder. And even after, my shoulders, I just feel like uh, it just felt so tight. But here, again, the kettle American kettlebell swings going over the head. And then here, we're going to go with the jumping over the bar burpees. Um, so... This is, uh, you know, all the different movements that we were doing. Uh, pretty high intensity. Uh, one thing I can say about this is the coach really did do a good job in pushing everyone in the gym to really just go all the way out until the end. So it was pretty awesome. Uh, if you have never been to a CrossFit gym, it, it's a really good sense of community. I mean, when you're making reps, it, it's not as individual as you think. You're really, you know working together as a team. So when you see people around you succeeding or doing well, it, it does make you feel good. You want to cheer them on. Even if they're not using the same weight or they're, you know, you're really uh, happy to kind of push them to that next level. So you see back to the kettlebell swings. Got to work on my faces. Jeez, that's a terrible face. What the hell? Um, but you'll see uh, if I have to compare myself to the guy next to me, He's kind of muscling it up with his upper body. And for me, it, it's pretty easy because I'm using my hips. I'm pushing with the momentum from my hips and letting that guide the get kettlebell. And that's how you should do a kettlebell swing. You should really use your hips because it's all in your hips. So now here, back to the thrusters. So there, if I had to say, like if I was trying to snatch right there, I, I think it, it's a pretty poor form. I was basically just doing a deadlift and pulling the bar up into a shrug. Um, but with the thruster, it, it felt pretty good. You know, really getting below parallel. Uh, what I did notice is a lot of people weren't necessarily going below parallel. But, you know, we all have different technical abilities. And, you know, I don't think this movement requires that you go below parallel, but... I actually, I actually I should look that up. I'm not sure if a thruster requires going below parallel. I felt like it was necessary because, you know, I would never front squat, you know, above parallel. But, hey. So here is just a little rest period. Basically, we were doing certain intervals where we were taking, uh, you know, minute rest periods. And you'll see here, just resting up. And moving on, we're getting into the next round. So basically this was an AMRAP, so you just did as many rounds of the different exercises as you could, and it was timed. I, I think the time interval was like something like five minutes on, one minute off, and we did five rounds. So I know that sounds like a lot of time, and uh, at the end of the day, I was able to get in 12 rounds. Um, 
So that's that's pretty good for somebody like me who's maybe not necessarily uh, super big into endurance. Uh, that I'm definitely working on you know upping my endurance because I did like you know that I was able to complete this workout, but I wish I could have done more sets. I think one guy did like tw like 19 sets or something, and I think the record for the gym is 20. So I'd really like myself to get further up. You know, eight eight sets altogether. It doesn't seem like that much, but you know, I really think it would be awesome to do that just, just for myself, really not even to be competitive with anyone else, just to do it for myself. But at this point, I remember that my shoulders were just jacked. I just, I really felt like, I was like, man, I don't know if I can do more of these. My shoulders are just so tight. But, you know, I feel like once you get into that bottom of that front squat, and you can see me trying to just like stretch my shoulder out a little bit there, it, it does become easier because you have a lot of momentum that you're working with then. And I think that's why it is beneficial to go lower because then you're not solely relying on your shoulders. It's kind of a whole body movement. And here I am coming back from a rest period, just really trying to get through it, power through, making sure I get that kettlebell over my head. Like I said, this part actually wasn't that bad, because I mean, you're doing a lot of the work with your hips, so you're just relying on the momentum and just letting the weight go above your head. So here, back to the burpees exhausted. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just did two push-ups there, probably just not even realizing it just because I'm so tired. Uh, you see that big sweat puddle right there? That was for me laying on the ground just because as you can see, I'm drenched in sweat. And actually, I, I started to slip on that puddle just because it was soaking wet. And, you know, I felt a little bad, but you know, hey, it's going to happen. You're going to sweat. But, oh man, I just saw a guy look like he was going to hit himself in the dick with the kettlebell. That shit looked like it sucked. But here we go, thrusters, just powering through, just trying to finish it. I want to say this is the last round I was able to complete, so I got 12 rounds, gassed. But hey, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. Please make sure you subscribe, comment. Uh, again, this is Russ from Kilo Fitness. Peace!